exactly two years ago, I was part of the Kickstarter campaign to fund a game that looks absolutely incredible. And soon enough, the game is coming out. So let's talk about this. Name of the game is Mandragora. It's 2.5D Metroidvania style game combined with the Dark Souls elements where you will be exploring a world with the characters that of your choosing. You will be equipping yourself with the items, unlocking new talents and slaying powerful bosses. Let's go through the overview of the system that should be available uh, when the game will release and you will be able to try it for yourself. First and foremost, we should start by looking on the available classes in Mandrakora. There are six possible classes that you can play as. So, let's start with the first one, shall we? Will be Vanguard. Vanguard is a warrior that you can imagine yourself with sword and board or two-handed weapon, with slaying enemies up close, with withstanding a lot of damage and specializing in several ways how you can play this class. For example, you can protect yourself with the shield, right? You can parry the monsters or you can inflict a physical pain and bleed them to death. As a second class, we have Spellbinder. Spellbinder is your typical mage but twisted with chaos and entropy, where you will be able to sling spells, you will be able to bind enemies together to, to really uh, root them on the place and just sling spells from afar. You will be able to equip yourself with a one-handed weapon in the one hand and in the second one, orb. The orb will help you to sling the magic and do a lot to your enemies. The third class is a Larcenist. Larcenist is your rogue type. That's an agility-based, dexterity-based class that you will be able to swing around the enemies, stab them with the daggers, apply poison to them, or just out with your enemies with, uh, with dexterity in evasion. As a fourth class, we get the Heretic. Heretic is someone who is like a warrior with a mace, uh, exceptional with a mace, so you want to get close and bash your enemies uh, to your skull, but he delved a little bit too much into a fire magic, so now he can scorch enemies as well, create the firewalls and just turn your enemies into charcoal. As a fifth class that was unlocked on the Kickstarter is Warden. Warden is specialized in the druidic magic, so it's a sorcerer that is really delving himself into nature and he's using one-handed weapons and wild relic that helps him channel this nature against his enemies and root them and do all kind of uh, nature problems to your, your enemies. Last but not least, we got the sixth character as Inquisitor. Inquisitor is a priest-like warrior that is really going head-to-head -head with the enemies with sword and board and also with combination with the divine magic. The divine magic is just healing yourself, you can punish your, your enemies with smites from above and uh, you will be the warrior that is really going for the crusade. So at the beginning, you have to choose one of the starting points as your class, so you can have have six starting points but when you level up your character in the in the future you will be able to mix and match those classes so you will be able to combine for example warden with vanguard or or you will have the combinations in your hand and you will be able to unlock something unique but we will delve into that a little bit later well now let's go and check the abilities uh, and at least what we know so far we will have possible choices between two sets of spells and each set will have possible choice of three so you will be able to utilize six spells in in your kit at the one moment but you will be able to switch on those spells on um, not in the combat but out of the combat and those spells will push you through the enemies and is will be part of the progression of your character you will be able, as I said before, combine those classes, so you will be able to delve into a specific skills of each class and find the build that you want to run with. Uh, one thing to mention is that each class or each of the, the, the archetypes should have 10 spells in total. So that's a 60 spells to choose from and to make something for yourself that really fit your playstyle. Next core system we need to look into is equipment. Equipment is something that you will need to progress through to get through the, the powerful enemies and also the bosses. You have several possible choices that you can 
pick from, right? And you will be able to equip yourself with the weapons, armor, jewelry, and also you will have various of consumables that you will be able to use your use uh, before the fight to enhance your armor or give you more damage. All of those armor pieces get some equipment load. As you maybe know from the Dark Souls, if you get fr through the threshold, for example, you will have slower dodges. So the lighter armor will, will benefit you with, with a much faster approach. But for example, if you would love to be a warrior with heavy shield and just cover behind it and withstand all the damage, you will need to find heavy armor that scales from strength and you will just be able to parry everything in your way. You might be asking yourself, how can I get those items? That's a really good question. And you will have three options how to get yourself a new gear. You will have one possibility is through the quest. So you will meet the NPC, you will fulfill the mission and they will give you new piece of equipment. Another thing is that they will drop from the enemies themselves. So if you see, for example, knight walking around and you will slay them, there is a chance that he will drop you the items that he got on himself. So in the future, when you slay them enough, you will be able to f pull through and have a whole set and you will be looking like the knight that you slain before. And last but not least, you will be able to craft those items. There will be crafting system that I will be talking about and yeah, you will be able to craft those items. Items. When you find yourself a really cool piece of equipment and you will really like that, you can enhance it. You can use the enchantments, that those are like the stones that you can insert inside the, the weapon or, or on the armor piece that will enhance stats and, and give them another one so you will be able to buff your equipment. All the equipment that you will be wearing will be stat scaling. That means that, for example, weapon can have stat scaling like C or B, and the better stat scaling is, the, the better scaling is. So, so for example, when you have X or, or, or weapon that is strength based and it got C scaling, the more more you have a strength attribute, the, the better the weapon will be. But if you find the weapon that it will have a B scaling, it will be stronger because the scaling will be much higher and you will be able to deal more powerful damage. But yeah, there might be different things to consider because there will be different stats, different things that will not be scaled like movement speed or, or poise. And those things you need to consider when you will be looking for a new equipment. Last but not least, I would love to mention that there will be status effects as well and they are tied to a few things that you will be able to do. For example, uh, the physical damage is tied to the bleeding. So the, there might be a thing that when you go for the physical damage as a, as a vanguard, you will be able to spec into the bleeding build and you will be able to make a bunch of people bleed. Or if you will go for heretic, you will be able to deal fire damage and that means burn them, or frost damage and freeze them, or use chaos magic and weak your enemies. Another important system in the game, and as I mentioned before, is the crafting. You will have your own caravan that will go with you. There will be like seven NPCs that you will unlock throughout the game, and they will help you with various of tasks. So for example, there will be blacksmith that will help you craft new armors, or there will be jeweler. So there is over 350 craftable items. There is a lot. And there is over 110 consumables that we will you will be able to put on your bar and use in the combat or out of combat to buff yourself. This system should help utilize all the materials that you will be able to find all over the world, like copper, wood. You will be able to find those materials and, and make them better by, by combining them and create, for example, new item in, in your base quest camp or enchantment, powerful enchantment that will help you slay the boss you're stuck on. As a next really, really big system that is that is core thing for your progression of the character are talents. Talent system is uh, based on the level ups. So when you level up your character, you will get a talent point and you will be able to spend the talent point on a talent tree. And there is no one tree, there is six trees. 
Each class got its own talent tree. And at the beginning, you will choose for yourself a starting class, right? As I mentioned before, there are six classes, you will choose one. At the level 15, you will be able to delve into other classes as well. So you will be able to combine the Vanguard. You will start like that one, right? You will level up to level 15, and then you will do switch, and you will start progressing through the Heretic. So you will be utilizing the sword and board to, to really hung yourself behind the shield and throwing around bunch of fire spells so so the the imagination of this system is just incredible because you will have a lot of those combinations going together and and tied it with those talents that will really push it towards some some a nice really key build that will do bunch of damage to the enemies when we look on the talent tree itself you can see that there are like four different type of nodes there is a starting to note that will unlock the possibility of your special item or a special item that you as a class can wear for example when you will unlock heretic you will be able to have as offhand the relic that will allow you to cast the the, the spells then it's a basic notes those notes are the small ones that you can see and those giving you stat boosts so for example strength or dexterity that will help you with with the scaling of your weapons that you have equipped right now then you have the medium notes those medium notes are named choice note and uh, by the name as you can see you have some choices to do there are four possible choices to be made there is offense defense utility and critical each of them will give you the specific thing that you are choosing, right? The, if you go offense, you will have more damage. If you go defense, you will have more defense. But you can invest up to three points into this node. And when you invest three points, you will get some really powerful benefit. And then there are the big nodes, the talents. Those talents or those nodes will, when you unlock them, they will give you specific way how to look at your character. For example, there is a node that is named Deep Wounds. This node will give you 5% chance to bleed your enemies when you hit them and also increase the duration of bleeding by 3 seconds. So just by this node itself, you can like think of, of several ways how to build your character around it to deal as much bleed as possible to really focus on that, on that physical damage that is tied to the bleeding mechanic as a status effect and you are able to bleed them dry and with those deep wounds talent you can grab another one that is that it's named blood craze and that will give you the healing right you will life steal from the bleeding enemies that means that you will be able to sustain yourself in the fight and you will be able to slash more enemies and uh, you know survive and that's only one way how to look at it because you can go other way around and you can spec into parrying right to be the warrior not not like berserker but you will want to have your adrenaline up you will have your stats up and you will just benefit from parrying and so much more so each of the classes each of the talent trees gets several ways how to look at it and you can combine those things and especially with the other trees that you will be able to delve into to really craft something unique. But there would be no Metroidvania style game because at the beginning I said this is Metroidvania style game without exploration. And I feel this is kind of cool. I, when I saw the, the map and when I saw the, the scope, how, how the game looks and, and present itself, I am so, so excited to jump into the game for sure. Uh, there is a, like several biomes that you will be, that they are interconnected. So you will be able to traverse through the, the, the land like that, right? You will be able to slay enemies, but there will be like places that you will not be allowed to go into because you will not have the skill skill set to reach the potential for example rope climbing right or, or jumping through from wall to wall to get higher or something like that if you play the castlevania that was the kind of thing that they went for right so you you met uh, something that you couldn't reach and you were like i can't reach there so you continue forward right and for example you kill the boss and the boss give you the ability to climb 
on the ladder and you will return back to the place and now you are able to access the part of the world that you have never been into which is so good i absolutely love this because you have the the kind of idea to return back to the places that you been at the beginning right and you went through there was some just basic wolves you just killed them and you saw the thing the latch but you couldn't you couldn't, you couldn't reach there because, for example, you, you didn't have the double jump and now you have. So you can return there and, and there could be like a whole part of the map that, that with new enemies and new stuff. And this is so, so exciting. And that's not uh, everything, right? There are like secrets, for example, like walls that can be destroyed. So you're running, right? And there is a ledge that you can you can have to jump upon to get further. But if you smash the wall, you will find out that there is a whole new part, like a new path. And for example, with some treasure or the boss or something like that. And those small mysteries will just enhance the gameplay. And you really want to look everywhere to get yourself upon the goodies right and each of the available biomes that you will go through will have a new set of enemies and also uh, the traps and things that going around for example you will have castle that is full of vampires but you will have swamps when when you will encounter zombies but that's not it right there are more than six of those biomes each with a different style and theme and never think around it so i can't wait to explore those one thing that is really also needed to be said is the story of the game. The story should span across the whole like biome, right? You will go through those zones and you will experience what is this world going through, what is happening and why everything is like it is, right? You will meet a lot of NPCs. Some of them will just give you flavor by talking to each other, by talking to you. And uh, you will have to make difficult decision, like moral difficult decision, who will survive, who will move on and at the end you will have several possible endings depend how you choose your life in this game what what were your choices have this character survived there might be a different ending for that and if you feel that you will finish the game you will experience one of the endings but you would love to go for a little bit more maybe the different ending you can start a ga new game plus this new game plus will have set armor for each a uh, class like the new one that you couldn't find in the base game you will have more than 20 weapons happens to find more than 20 rings and also you will be able to level up and more that 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 means that you will be in, able to unlock more talents and you will be more powerful yeah the new game plus works that you will finish you will start the game over and you will have everything that you have by the end of the game right you will not lose anything but every single enemy and encounter will be harder and you will need to utilize more than you have when you were at the end of the game we are getting close to the end of the video and I left the best to the last. And here we are, release date of the Mandragora. You can expect early access drop before end of the year. So you will be able to get yourself the game and, and play through, right? At least part of the big part of the, of the game. But you don't have to wait that long because uh, tomorrow there is a demo release of the Mandragora. So if you are here still, you can wishlist the game on the on the Steam and you can prepare yourself for tomorrow and you will be able to jump into the game. There will be only one class available and it will be only a small part of the game. But I feel it's a rare opportunity to get your hands upon it and see if it's really good or if it's just the... Yeah, you know, mediocre game and uh, you don't want to bo be bothered with. But in my opinion, I feel this game got something special. The art style is just beautiful. It's just stand out. It's a pleasing on the on the eyesight. <laughs> you can really you can really see the contrast of those colors. But you have the grittiness of 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 the world and everything is gloomy, right? Those those monsters are tortured, like uh, like uh, you know, that, that just it looks grim and. 
the, the combat is methodical, it's, it's heavy, it's not like floaty combat that is smashing the buttons, but it's op on opposite side, as the Dark Souls is. You need to figure it out how the monsters behave, you need to figure it out their, their, their schemes, right, and go around them and just deal with them. And that it make it so much more special. An exceptional thing is that it, I am most excited is the exploration part, is the, the seeing those biomes, seeing those enemies and find those secrets and just, just be immersed in the world. So tomorrow is the demo release, you should try it. If you are not convinced that you want to try it for yourself, you can stop by on the stream on 6 p.m. CET. I will be streaming this game, I will go through the demo and I think I will enjoy myself a little bit. So <laughs> if you want to join, feel free, uh, say hi and that will be it. But that's it for this video. Hope you enjoyed this this overview of the game. I, I went through all, all the information that are available right now from the Kickstarter and from from those uh, dev releases that that were released up till now. And uh, the more I saw from the game, the footage and also the information, I am super excited to go and check out the game. So. That's it, as I said, you can subscribe to the channel if you don't want to miss any other video in the future or you can click on the videos on the right side and you will get more content. For example, Witchfire there is a newly released game on Steam, it's a roguelite FPS shooter where you're going around as a prayer shooting witches is really fun, you should check it out for sure. Or you can check Outriders that I have th several thoughts about so I needed to put it in the video, so if you are interested, let's go check out that one. So yeah. That's it. Thank you very much. Stay awesome. And I will see you all next time. Bye.